so true. Because this is where we're going. We're tapping into immersion platforms like the iPad. I know it's a couple of folk in the room have got them. Um, interesting thing about iPads, tablet sales are growing at the rate of 378% year on year. That's faster than any other technology adoption. It makes the iPod uptake look like a snail. It's an unbelievable uptake. 38% of tablet users in the UK spend more time on their tablet than they do watching the television. You know, so what's been yeah, changed over as I've been talking is an app we did um, as a kind of proof of concept and it's health and safety for social service workers and basically we took a totally text-based document, which was a PDF, and it's on our Workforce Solutions website, and we turned it into an interactive publication on the iPad, just to see what we could do. And I'll demo that in a few minutes. So, in summary, what are the benefits? Big benefits in terms of money. A huge financial incentive for us to look at how we use mobile technology so that we can you know, no, I, I always hate to say make savings because that means often you know, when they talk to the bean counters about making savings, they want to take it away. What I'm talking about is finding money we can reinvest in the sector. Um, hopefully, for both direct services and for increased learning development opportunities for staff. But the big, massive benefit is the return on investment money is about what happens to folks learning. That cycle then, that's on that diagram, actually feels more like a relative, rather than something that looks like a diagram of the That's where they get in touch with me. And if there's any there, you know, the iPad user will, will be inspired to be tech savvy enough to know that that's a QR code. And again, if he was brave enough, they can come up with that, with their phone, and they'll get a whole business card uh, straight to that QR code. Um, has anybody got any questions before I show you some stuff? Uh, a couple of things to show you. If, uh, you, want, you want to see a couple of the apps I was talking about, then I'll, I'll show you that. I'm, I'm going to sit down for that bit because it's just much easier to do sitting down. So if you bear with me a minute until I. Uh, Kind of switch over what I'm doing. Uh, again, apologies, apologies to the folk at the back because some of this is not going to be massively visible, but we're going to have some time for you to get hands on so you can actually try some of these. This is the, the app I was talking about with as a proof of concept, um, and this used to exist as a, just a flat PDF, and it was written by somebody who used to write textbooks for um, DQ. You know, underpin knowledge of DQ. So she very kindly donated her chapter and we turned it into a PDF. We even did uh, six MP3 audio files of it. Uh, with a kind of wee caveat, like hide the razor blades. Sorry, yeah? MP3 is a uh, digital audio. So, like the stuff you would put on an iPod or a mobile phone uh, music player. Yeah. Um, but I used to say, well, didn't you try and listen to it all at once because it's two hours of health and safety. And if that doesn't make you throw yourself off the roof, nothing <laughs> wrong. So what we did is we took all that information and we turned it into this. Um, we've got a wee bit that tells you how to use the app and what the icons mean. I'm showing you some of this stuff up the top of the screen there, the viewer controls. That means this. If I tap the screen, this comes up and it gives me various uh, navigation options. So. There's a table of contents that allows you to pick out you know, you can jump straight to a topic or if I do it like this, you can see every story or every article in the app and again you can tap whatever one you want and it'll take you straight back in to that article. So if we go into the before we start, that's our chief executive at the Scottish Social Services Council and um, and it's actually a video. Yeah, so, so I've not got audio out on this today. But. So there's Anna. Goodbye, Anna. Um, 
and then we take you into the app itself, you just kind of scroll down. But we've also got things like, if you look at that bit with the question mark, we've got interactive graphics. So if I tap responsibilities of employers, it does that. Same for employees, it changes. And we're, we're putting that kind of stuff in just to get folk to start to interact with the information um, rather than just passively reading it. We can pull out B-tabs, they've got fast facts on them. Um, all kinds of stuff. So if we go in here, monitoring health and safety, here's a wee fact about um, how many people die in fires. If I tap the link, it brings up the director of website that's got all the smoke and safety information on it. Now, and we're not leaving the publication, we're still actually in that publication. So you're not going to find the link and you're not going to navigate <coughs> back to the, to the app, you're like, how the hell did I get back to where I was? You're not going to do that because it's already, you're still in there. You've not actually gone anywhere. Um, so you've got things like, um, you know, who's got legal right of entry to your home? Now, this is all Scottish, obviously, because it was done for Scotland. So again, you can just pull up that, that information and just jump straight back to the top. But it, it kind of goes further than that. So we've got all kinds of things. We've got templates for doing riddle recordings. A, a massive amount of stuff that's directly linked to the health and safety executive, MRSA, and all these kind of things. We need to be careful with that. So you've got one. 